who is Abraham? He's in a he's in a photograph, and on the back of that photograph from 1898, he was it was it said ex slave, and so we thought he might be of interest, and he, it was a great visual cue for what we want to do in our project, which is to find the voices of those who might have been lost to history. When I was a student here at Furman, you know, the name of the school was just something loosely Baptist. I didn't really know who Richard Furman was. And I think as we get into an era of digital access, it becomes easier and easier for people to stumble on who he is and stumble on his record on issues like slavery. So I think it's part of our digital era that we have to begin warning students about the namesake of the university and that kind of thing. But more importantly, uh, it should be the duty of any uh, institution to really know their past and to tell it completely.